Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. So first of all just a quick recap on last week as we discussed in detail on gold and silver asset of the day you wanted to be locking in profits last week ahead of major news items such as the European Central Bank announcement and also Friday's non-farm payroll. So this actually enabled us to lock in 970 points on gold ahead of the European Central Bank announcement and another 200 170 points on gold ahead of Friday's non-farm payroll and now we've seen a significant drop lower on gold on Friday we have established a new position just off the lows and this is really the perfect way to play gold at the moment you want to be buying on those significant dips and just be mindful that right now where you do have major news items we have another big news item next week which is Wednesday's FOMC statement Make sure you take these opportunities to lock in profits as you go along. You want to be very nimble in these markets. Make sure you're locking in profits at very key zones, key levels, using an edge in the markets to do so. So with that, we'll move over to the charts and we'll talk you through our expectations as we go into next week. First of all, moving over to gold, which closed on Friday at 1,684 US dollars per ounce. Now, we mentioned last week on the week ahead commodity report that due to Monday falling on the 1st of June, that this is often where you don't actually see counterflow on the Monday. You may well see a push higher the first day of a new month. This is where fresh capital comes into the market. And this, of course, can drive gold higher. So we saw that at the beginning of the week, right? We saw the breakout over Monday and Tuesday. And then we saw the counterflow, the sell off ahead of the European Central Bank announcement on Thursday. So this is where you want to make sure that you're locking in profits at the upper end of the ranges here. When we're getting these breakout moves, certainly we were able to lock in 970 points at 1744 US dollars per ounce with all of our members at the Gold and Silver Club. Then we've subsequently seen this sell off over the course of this week, where we've then been able to buy back in lower bank more profits ahead of the non farm payroll data. And again, on Friday, we've got back in off the lows here where we've seen another sell off on gold. So as we go into next week, I'll be very mindful, first of all, to see if we are going to get any sort of gap off the open again for gold here, like we did last week, as we've seen protests escalate in the USA. So with that, we want to watch out to see if we're going to see gold get a bit of a safe haven bit off the open. Also, often when you've had a big sell off with gold on a Friday on a non farm payrolls, you can see a retracement on the Monday. Going into next week, I'm essentially expecting range bound trade here. If you have a look at the areas of liquidity that gold has broken back down to on Friday, we found a lot of support around this level previously at 1,670 US dollars per ounce. It's been key support now. This will be the third time that we've seen certainly traders buying in on these dips. And that's not to say that we can't go lower. It's possible during the counter flow later on in the week that we may see a pullback here, a further pullback. But you want to be mindful that we're getting a bid at these zones you want to again be very nimble so when you're getting into positions at great entry prices make sure that you're also taking some profit off the table the key is with gold not to FOMO in at the highs if you do so number one you can't withstand the sell-offs and number two it doesn't give you the flexibility to buy on these big dips in price that we see time and time again with gold so we're still range bound trading here at the moment we're back at the lows from april here now hedge funds and money managers they've reduced their net long positions in gold in the latest week but they've increased their net long positions in silver and the gold silver ratio again started to sell off towards the end of the week indicating right now that silver may continue here to be a stronger gainer than gold over the month of June here. Now you have to bear in mind that silver prices were up 25% over the month of May. So it's not a surprise here to see some profit taking and a pullback. But you can see right now silver is right at the upper end of the channels, whereas gold right now has pulled back back down towards the April lows, which would essentially be the equivalent if silver was to have that sort of a magnitude move, it would take the price down to $15 per ounce, which of course would be very extreme. So as the gold silver ratio continues to sell off, it's more supportive for silver to outperform gold at the moment. But you can also utilize the correlations that we do see between gold silver and the gold silver ratio to time your profit taking on the trades and also timing your entries as well. So let's just go back to gold again here. You want to be mindful that we may see a retracement or some potential gapping off the open as a result of the protests in the USA over the weekend. So we'll see if we do get any sort of a gap. Monday, you can see retracements higher if there's been a significant sell off 
off after non-farm payrolls on the Friday. Also, bear in mind, we have the FOMC statement on Wednesday. It's one of the biggest drivers for gold. So this will be a catalyst for potentially quite a large move. Now, the US dollar index started to find support on Friday here. After nine days of consecutive pressure to the downside, the US dollar is now picking up some momentum. So we're seeing gold price in US dollars under a bit of pressure here. However, gold price in Australian dollars, gold price in euros, gold price in pounds has had a much more dramatic sell-off than gold priced in US dollars. For example, the euro has gone up nine days consecutively in a row. This has been the biggest consecutive rise on the euro US dollar since 2004. Nine consecutive days of gains there has meant gold priced in euros is much more significantly sold off than gold priced in US dollars. And that has also led the move lower in gold price in US dollars over the latest week. You could see the correlations playing out where it wouldn't be long until you saw gold later on in the week priced in US dollars have a sell off and then sniper in at opportune times to also capitalize on these dips in price for retracements higher now we've banked a lot of profits in the latest week there so we've been in and out here on gold of seven trades in the last week we've established the final position later in the day after non-farm payroll here on gold so we just got the one new position established going to next week with profits over a thousand points profits banked on gold last week which sets up nicely now going into a fresh week now if we go over to crude oil we covered this in detail with you last week on thursday on oil asset of the day the OPEC special where you wanted to look out for the potential of oil to break out back towards 40 US dollars per barrel if we can hold above that 35 to 36 US dollar per barrel handle springboard off that level you can see the upward trend has just really been very consistent from the lows here that we put in in April it's been an incredible market here for oil it's now gone up off those April lows where we found support at $10 per barrel it's effectively quadrupled in price off those lows and you can see now where oil is making the way to fill the gap here from the gap that we had back in March where the price action broke down from $40 per barrel down to $30 per barrel. Now into the close on Friday, we're at $39 a barrel. Remember what we discussed previously, oil moves very well between magnetic levels. If you break and close above $35 per barrel, you're going to then head to 40. So we've now seen the breakout to $39.66 per barrel on oil. So of course, the next major key level here is going to be a tap of $40 per barrel as we go into next week. Now, hedge funds and money managers, they have significantly increased their net long positions again in the latest week. They've reduced their sell shorts. This is very evident in the markets and the price action that we're seeing at the moment. By the way, that's also the case with silver here as well we've seen another week where hedge funds and money managers have increased their net long positions you have to consider that silver prices were trading just in mid-march here at $11.50 per ounce they've now managed to climb all the way at the peak last week to $18.30 per ounce so these are just unprecedented times in the commodity markets right now you have amazing opportunities this year in 2020 really like we haven't seen before here so of course right now if you do have more time available to you whether you're working from home or you're still on lockdown and you want to learn a research driven approach to the markets where you have an edge where you're not just using 100 percent technical analysis which absolutely doesn't work in these market conditions it's either keeps you out of trades completely or you're just getting chopped up all the time with your positions you're you're FOMOing in at the wrong prices or you're just getting stopped out too frequently. And of course, what you want to do is have an approach and position yourself the same way that the hedge funds and money managers do in the market. You want to be utilizing cycles in the market, seasonality, be aware of macroeconomic data, the intermarket correlations that affect the markets. And also you want to then marry that up with our in-house research and intelligence and then combine that with key areas of supply and demand, market flow, sentiment, and then you'll have a trade idea which will give you a and a final note here as well as you know trading is recession proof it enables you to have an additional source of income source of cash flow where you can generate capital fast in the markets where you're not going to be affected if we have another second wave of COVID-19 later on in the year if countries then go back into lockdown again you have an opportunity of course to upskill right now and to get edge in the markets and learn a research driven approach not only that but as a result of COVID-19 this year many banks around the world have cut their interest rates in fact in Europe 
and many parts of Asia Pacific, we're now seeing bank rates go to negative interest rates. This is something that the US is now proposing and we're also seeing that discussion in the UK as well. So this effectively means capital in the bank, not only is it going to not generate an interest, but you could actually get a negative interest on it where you're paying to keep your money in the bank. So there's really never been a better time for you to learn how to trade so that you can protect your wealth, but also compound your returns as well. So by learning trading, that is going to protect you and mean that you take total control of your financial future. So with that, if you would like to learn a research driven approach to the markets, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member of the Gold and Silver Club, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You have access to our real time trade alerts, trading research and market insights, access to our private members academy website and also support and one to one mentoring. For more information, please just go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP. And do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports.